quick demonstration for all the citizen scientists, geologists, astrogeologists out there enjoying, searching, discovering, learning, appreciating, and exploring, and doing the work that benefits all of life by discovering lost pieces that have the, not just clues, but actual evidence of the universe, trillions of solar systems, billions of planets and moons. Here we have an example. Just for the learning, we have a very slight, this is again a very light magnet, very slight magnetic reaction on this piece. I'm going to demonstrate very quickly with a ceramic. Here's the glazed side, here's an unglazed tile. We can take this and do a scratch test. You see this has a trace of fusion crust, but we're not sure if that is a volcanic uh, terrestrial or extraterrestrial. I can scratch this and see if it's going to leave a red or brown streak. Now oxidation can do that. If you get a scratch residue from one area, it can be from dirt and debris or oxidation. You turn it to another area and try another area, try several areas to make sure that it's not just oxidation, weathering and removal of crust and fusion to make sure that you don't have a continuous streak. That is what you need to do. It's not, see right here I have a streak. You saw that I just demonstrated no streak on many sides, but I turn it to this very little corner here and I get a streak. That can be a residual oxidation, as I can see oxidation happening. I turn it to other areas of the same specimen. Some have, and as you saw before, once that is wore off in other areas of the stone, as the meteorites have the harder fusion, there is nothing. So don't let an initial streak be a discourager. That is just a marker, a clue that you could have a uh, type of earth specimen rock that always leaves a streak. The real test with a meteorite potential to see if the finish comes off and then stays off. If you get a streak after you wear off that external flushing of the dirt and erosion of the actual crust or oxidation of the minerals which would come off in a rusty powder once that is gone if you are getting a streak or no streak try different areas grind a window try a window try your fusion crust if there's any remnants or traces left that is what i'm doing just a suggestion as a streak can be misleading if you're only doing one because of the very nature of the compounds that make up rocks and even meteorites with weatherized fusion crusts.